Hi everybody, it's messages for Pisces. Hi Pisces, I'm G1 Rider with G1 Insights and this is your life and love energy for November 2020, okay? And guess what? If you haven't had a chance to check out your your Mercury Retrograde type of reading, like your October 13th to November 13th reading, then it's all good. That's what we are here for today. So, um, it's been a crazy season, but I'm super excited to know that everyone is able to move forward and with positive energy, feeling really good, knowing that things are moving forward and things are working out in our favor. Um, excuse me. The month of November is all about transformation. You know, 11 11 is like the most powerful month ever. 11 11 you know 12 12 20 or you know 11 20 11 21 11 22 that whole week for you Pisces is going to be amazing it's going to be amazing oh I just heard 11 17 okay I don't know what you're doing at that time but I know that November 15th give or take a day is going to be a new moon in Scorpio Oh, yeah. And that is your sister sign. So, my love, get ready for some transformations, for some deep mysteries to be revealed, for you to notice yourself, like, as if you never noticed yourself before. Okay? Get ready for that. So, we have some wisdom cards here. We have some tarot cards here. We have some love cards. And we are going to do this thing. So, let's do it. Okay? Guys, I would love to have you as one of my subscribers, so please subscribe to my channel. Also, check out my website, g1insights.org. Why is your cards flying out like this? Wow. The number seven, like I said, is here for you for some reason. Seven deadly sins and the heavenly virtues. Knowing the difference between the two. I'm going to put those back, though, because they just kind of flew out, and I want to make sure that this is confirmation. So let's get confirmation. <laughs> Wow, Pisces, you are starting off your reading like, <laughs> let's get into this though, let's see, all right, Pisces, here we go, all right, I'm going to put this one back because it came out for a, um, a recent sign, and I don't like to um, pass on lingering energy, I want to make sure, like, if this is for you too, then I want to make sure, that's why I put it back, okay, so, so far we have Peacock, raising your standards, oh yeah, Pisces, oh, let me tell you, honey, I have my North Node in Pisces, and I know exactly how you guys feel when you feel like you're doing and giving and giving, and nothing is being reciprocated. Oh, that shit sucks. Like, I know exactly what that feels like, so I feel your vibe. Like, I get exactly how you feel when it comes to that. Raise your standards, honey. Stop allowing people to just do whatever, say whatever. Like, if anybody can read somebody's bullshit, it is definitely you. In this season, in the month of November, you will be doing a whole lot of that, okay? Oh, yeah. T it says here, take some time for relaxation and adventure. Okay, have some fun. Fuck it. If this person ain't got it, they ain't got it. If this person can't go, they can't go. If this person ain't got no money, then oops, oh well. You know, <laughs> not to be mean, but then when it's all said and done, it's like, I'm looking out for me, dude. Like, I don't have time to sit here and be like, trying to figure you out all the time. No. No. <sighs> no. No, no, it's about me. It's my time to have a good time. It's my chance to go out and be with my friends or to party up, to hang out, and to act a complete fool if I choose to. Yeah, it's all about me this time around. And guess what? Not everybody's going to agree, but who gives a fuck, right? So we have the animal bonds here as well, guys. So if you, you know, for those of you that have been looking for a new job or looking for, you know, your purpose in this world, you know, you may want to kind of donate your energy to either children or animals okay because they understand you more they get you you know i feel like you guys can um resonate with them a bit more as well okay um just because they're a lot more sensitive than humans you know humans can be very cold-hearted but i feel like when it comes to children or perhaps animals you know um there's like this bigger light at the end of the tunnel you know that says you know we're here for you we thank you we appreciate you you know so for those of you that are looking forward to learning what your purpose is, you know, um, for some of you, this will be like becoming a vet, 
going to school, getting some type of certification to become a vet, or um, possibly feeling like you want to stand up for animals, you know, um, that's what this energy right here is all about. Or, you know, on a lighter sense, this can just be simply synchronicities, you know, animals coming to you in your dreams, um, animals appearing to you, you could be outside waiting for the bus, and like a bird just suddenly stops like right at your feet, you know, or flies literally over your head like two or three times, and you're like, okay, what the hell, you know, <laughs> like, what the hell do you want, you know, they're just gonna keep flying over you, um, they're doing that to get your attention, that spirit is with you, and that you are on the right path, okay, so if you see any kind of weird synchronicities like that, don't be afraid, it's just spirit trying to connect with you, okay, um, again, we also have here a peacock, um, again, another animal energy, okay? Um, so somewhere you guys could be thinking about traveling to, um, like, um, somewhere, like, not really out of the country, but just wherever you guys are, somewhere where you guys are, um, I feel like it's very green, okay? Um, wherever this place is, it's very beautiful. I feel like you feel at peace there. I feel like you feel, um free and spiritually connected like you just want to do your own thing while you're there um there's like a lot of amazing energy here my love look at that you guys are happy it's like you're you're in la la land you're like finally oh, no stress i don't have to listen to this person i don't have to listen to that person like it's just no stress and that's what you need pisces you need a place where you can just be in La La Land for a second, you know, <laughs> sometimes it's okay to just, you know, be serious, you know, but you thrive when you are able to live in your fantasies. And this time around, you get to do that. You get to live in your fantasies and, you know, dream about the things that you want to achieve. And the thing about dreaming is that some dreams actually do come true. So whatever the dreams are or epiphanies or ideas and things that may come to you while you are on this journey or while you may be like on some type of vision quest, some of the things might actually come true for you. Okay, so this is one of them scenarios where we can say, be careful what you pray for. <laughs> okay, um, in a lighter sense anyway. All right, so I have some tarot cards here, so let's um, look at some tarot cards. Stop allowing people to, you know, manipulate you or take advantage of you. I just heard, yeah, they try, but they can't. Yeah, but there are some people, Pisces, believe it or not, that can't be manipulative without you, uh, you know, knowing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Here we are, Pisces. Wow, okay. Oh, okay. Money, money, money. Wow, money. Pisces, we've been talking about money for the longest. I mean, we've been talking about money for months. Like I said, stop allowing people to take advantage. Listen, with the, it says raise your standards. You need to develop some sort of boundaries, my love, with a particular group or people, um, even in your environment, okay, even with someone that you love, okay, like your children, for example, or whatever it is. But it says here, you know, you guys will be rewarded financially, okay? But if you guys are at work and you've been asking for a promotion and every time you ask or bring it up, it's like they brush you off or um, they don't really want to talk about it or the answer is no, then it says here that, yeah, get ready to receive, okay? Because you guys are going to be rewarded. This is the three of pentacles. Um, yeah, that's money, my love. So raise your standards. Go after that promotion. Even if you don't know if you will be approved for that promotion, go after it anyway. I mean, shit, Mercury Retrograde is over. We can kind of dance now, you know? So go after that promotion. Like I said, I feel like you guys have been working so hard, and it feels like no matter how much work you do, you don't get the appreciation that you deserve, and you've just been working at it and working at it. And so, like I said, some of you have been waiting on some type of increase in income, or and money has been on you guys' mind for a while now. Um, but keep on working, my love, because guess what? Soon you will be able to reap the reap rewards you will be able to finally relax and enjoy um what spirit has for you okay so that's what this energy is all about i had to like fix this a little bit because i feel like um it's like some type of glare okay so yeah 
And guess what, my love? You get the Ace of Cups. So when you are stepping into your destiny and you're doing the things that you love, it don't feel like work. So that is why Spirit is encouraging you to get into something that genuinely makes you happy, that can genuinely bring a smile to your face. So you see this person, she is like totally happy. Like there's not a glitz blitz of worry or anything on her face she is in her zone she is happy she is content she is not worried one bit because she know that she's been putting in the work and she know that she's about to receive a huge amount of prosperity that is coming her way okay so it's time for you guys to really do some research on your purpose okay guys do some research on what your purpose is what you would like to achieve what you would like to go back to school for whatever it is there's going to be like an over overwhelming feeling of emotions flowing from you because you're going to realize this, you know, this is nice, but this is not what I really want to do. You know, I've always been into working with animals. I've always been in, you know, trying to be in a position where I'm be able to be compassionate, like possibly working with children or giving back to the community somehow. You know, when you give back to children and animals, you know, they appreciate you more. And so, um, Pisces, that is what you need. You need to be in a position where you are able to um, feel fulfilled, you know? Like, you want to be content. And I feel like lately, it's like, yeah, even if there was some type of promotion or money that may have come along and maybe you fought really hard to get this, you may still feel like you're giving all, giving your all, and nothing is returning to you. You may still feel empty inside. But the universe is saying that once you get in touch with what your divine purpose is, and once you get into alignment with what you are supposed to do, you will be overwhelmed with emotions. You will be um, in a good way, okay? There's an overwhelming, like... um. You're being flooded with all kind of different emotions about situations or people, you know, and you're going to be making some, there's going to be some decision that you guys have to make too, because it's like, yeah, I like this, but this is not really where my heart is, you know? So it's not saying that this is a bad job or this is a bad person, but I just need to follow like my heart. I need to follow my, my gut, my emotions, you know, I will, I know that I will be more happy if I, if I moved or if I relocated or if I got with someone new, I know that I will be totally happy. And so there's going to be a lot of changes that come up. Somebody could be pouring out their feelings to you, confessing their feelings for you. Um, this could be someone that been acting kind of immature lately, someone that's whose emotions been all over the place and maybe now you're being put in a tough situation emotionally you know so there's definitely going to be some um things that you have to address um especially when it comes to your career and love okay for a lot of you it can be both for some of you it can be either or but you're realizing that now you know something definitely do need to change so let's look at some love cards guys okay we have some love cards here let's see what love is going on what love is doing for you in November 2020. Thank you. All right, so a lot of you feel like somebody is not being totally truthful. They're not being totally honest. Somebody could be withholding money from you. Somebody could be... Um, <sighs> Or somebody could be offered some type of position and may not tell you about it until the last minute. Or you might find out about it. Or this could be a new love being found at work, at a new job that you guys just started. Um, but it says to watch out for, um, you know, the empath and narcissist type of relationship. Because that is one that is considered one of the most toxic relationships because you have someone that is very empathic, someone that's willing to give their all, but then you could be dealing with a person that's a narcissist. They could really give a damn about your feelings. Um, you know, they use their charm to kind of get you to kind of agree or to kind of go along with whatever they need from you. Okay. It could be possibly even using you or taking advantage of you in your kindness. Okay. Again, this is all about boundaries. Some of you guys, could be like kind of sticking to your guns about something you know no again raising your standards so yeah setting boundaries with this particular person just because I'm a nice person you would not take advantage of me you know this could be if this is a career situation you know for a lot of you you could be finally standing up to your boss so like no I'm not going to keep doing three jobs and getting paid for only one position like I'm not going to keep doing it and for those of you that are in love or in cu coupled up or something or in some type of fling or whatever 
whatever it is, because I don't really feel like this is a real relationship. I feel like in your mind, it might be a real relationship. Some of you could be dealing with a person that just got to have it their way all the time. It's either their way or the highway. Um, so again, watch out for the person that is using using their charm um, to kind of get to you, okay? Um, because they know that that's what you like. So, okay, so here we also have kisses, um, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Again, I feel like that is what you guys are taking a hiatus for. You guys are literally wanting to take a vacation to get away from what you, um, what you, you want to get away from all the, 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 um, the drama, you know, I feel like you guys are yearning for something a lot more. Again, I feel like you guys have been working hard and trying to hold on to this. And it's not bringing you the smiles and the con um, contentment that you're used to. And now you guys are really saying, you know what? Fuck this shit. Like, I'm, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Like, I know what I deserve. Yeah, it's kind of like as if you're taking your, your life back in a sense, okay? Um, we also have here, um, on top of the Ace of Cups, anyway. Again, remember, that's all about emotions. And remember, I said either you're going to be pouring out your feelings to someone or they can be pouring out your emotions to you, okay? But either way, um, yeah, you know, Coffee Cup came out on top of that, which is all about meeting and conversing, you know, um, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in that friendship. You want to rebuild those things. Some of you are working hard towards that or to accomplish that. So this is a relationship where maybe you guys have been having a rough patch. Maybe you guys are going from... Being having or having a toxic relationship to saying, you know what, let's work things out. And maybe that's what this energy is for. You know, maybe there could have been some financial issues in your love. And maybe you and your spouse will take a vacation. Um, and maybe that will actually help repair your relationship, okay? But some of you are falling back in love or falling in love with someone new. Or you will be meeting someone new very shortly. Um, again, savoring the moment. You know, you want to get back into this vibe where, again, you guys thrive when you are able to be full of imagination, when you guys are able to kind of um, live in your fantasy, you know, um, and I feel like that is why you fell in love with this person in the first place, because they were doing that for you, you know, and it's like now it's like, mm, I don't know about this too much, you know, and it's not because of what they do for you emotionally, mostly, but it's just that they use like this, this again, they are narcissists. So they use their charm to kind of win you over and they know that you're a fool for it. But again, um, even so, if that is the way that you guys like to be loved and fine, but I mean, um, I personally wouldn't fall for that shit. Um, but it says here, you know, if, if you're tired of it, you know, you have every right. Like I said, you guys are going to be setting some boundaries with somebody like, listen, I'm not going to be the only person working. I'm not going to be the only person going after shit and saving money. You're raising your standards. You're realizing that what you really want and what you really desire. And if this person want you, then they're going to do just that. They're going to work with you to achieve greatness. They're not going to have put all the pressure on you or continue to make you feel bad for what you don't have or what you're not able to do. Okay. So with that Pisces, I love you. I love you. Take care of yourself. I would love to have you as one of my subscribers. Please comment below. Let me know, let me know what you guys think, okay? Um, if you guys would like a personal reading, check out my website, g1insights.org. You guys can be there to purchase a personal tarot reading or to become a member. Purchase one of my beautiful holiday candles from Passion versus Pleasure. I'm super excited about my candle line, though. Oh, my God. It's amazing. You guys have to check it out. And, um... <sighs> Also, every Tuesday, we are live on Instagram at G1 Insights, guys. So stay, you know, this is why you should subscribe because, you know, anytime I upload any type of new information or a video or a picture or post, whatever, you guys will be amongst the first to find out, okay? I love you, Pisces. Be good to yourself.